Good morning. Good morning. It's Pastor Callie. I hope I'm on live. Um, the internet has been crazy over the last week. So some days we have nothing. Some days we have one bar. This morning I had one bar, so I'm hoping that you can see me. And I'm on my regular camera because I didn't want to chance the Mevo today with all the internet issues. I wanted to be able to see if I was live. So let me know if you're, can, you can see me. Uh, good morning from Portland. Some of you are letting me let me know if you can see me. Let me know. Good morning. I'm starting to see you ladies. Good morning. Good morning. Well, thank you, Jesus. We're on at least on Facebook today. Uh, I want to welcome uh, Eternal Heiress, our Eternal Heiress partners out of Nashville, and hopefully Miss Barbara is able to share this onto that page as well this morning. Um, so there are new prayer partners out of Nashville joining us who are already praying from all over the country. We're so happy to have you this morning. God is so good. Good morning, Laura. Thank you for holding down the fort for me for a couple of days. You and Pastor Brian. Good morning, Linda. Good morning, Kim. Good morning, uh, Tina. Good morning, Kay Randall. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Kimmy Franks. God bless you. Good morning, Linda. Good morning. Uh, good morning to all of you. Judith, y'all are coming up so fast. Uh, Jill, good morning. I woke up this morning with Psalms 91 on my heart. Psalms 91 on my heart. And I heard the Lord say, pray Psalms 91 today. I want you to read and pray Psalms 91. So, I want to give you an opportunity to get your Bible, and if you have a pa Passion Translation, that's what I'm going to read out of this morning, but if you don't, get whatever you have, and I just want you to let the Lord speak to you as I read and pray through these scriptures this morning. I'm going to read through Psalm 91, and the title of Psalm 91 is Safe and Secure, safe and secure and if we ever needed to know and experience the safety and the security of our salvation and our trust in jesus it is now <clears throat> and this is now when we let our faith be in the the king of kings and the lord of lords he is powerful he is all powerful there is none like him no weapon formed against you will prosper no plague will come nigh your dwelling um you, you're literally sitting in the palm of, of, of Jesus' hand. You're sitting in the palm of the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. And so, Lord, I just thank you for these ladies as we sign on today and we just pray and we enter into your presence. And we thank you, God, for your love. We thank you, Lord, for your patience. We thank you, Lord, for your goodness. I feel your goodness this morning. I feel your love this morning. I feel your uh, protection this morning over... Uh, over us as we pray. I, I sense, God, that you are watching over your handmaidens today. You are watching over your mothers in Zion, the daughters in Zion. Whether you're a mother or you're a daughter, you are loved, and God is watching over you today, and he is He is just right here. I feel his presence so strong right here in my living room. It is, uh, it is literally tangible. I can feel the tangible presence of God and we Lord we honor your presence we honor your presence we honor you God we just ask you Lord to uh, once again on this beautiful Thursday morning just uh, wash us and cleanse us and purify us draw us down to you forgive us of all of our sin let us be let us be pure and holy spotless without uh without spot or blemish god let your blood just run from the top of our heads to the sole of our feet god let us just uh just bask in your presence and in your goodness this morning 
Uh, your mercies are new every morning. Your power is new. Your wisdom is new. Your salvation is fresh. God, you are here to meet with us. You have come to meet with us today on this beautiful Thursday morning. And I feel your presence so strong. And I sense, God, that your power is being released through these airways to just bless and encourage your handmaidens today. To bless and encourage your handmaidens today. Ladies, I want you to go on right now. Uh, right now, there's about a little over 211 of you. <clears throat> and I want you to go on and share the broadcast and say, pray with us now uh, or, or pray with us on replay. But we want to encourage you to go on and share the broadcast right now and say, pray with us. I'm going to be praying for the sick today. I believe God's going to give words of knowledge today and prophetic words today. I'm not going to be so conscious about the time. I really just want to enter into the presence of the Lord and just spend time with the Lord today. I want to start reading Psalms 91. So get your, go on and get your elements ready. Pastor Bob will come in a little while and he will lead us in communion. So just get your elements ready and then pull your Bible out. And I'm going to read through Psalms 91, and I want to encourage you to just read it and pray with me as I read through this. Um, <clears throat> safe and secure. When you, when you abide under the shadow of Shaddai, you are hidden in the strength of God Most High. He is the hope that holds me and the stronghold to shelter me. Lord, I just thank you that we're under your wings. I just thank you that we're under your shadow. You are the hope that holds us. You are the hope that holds us. And you are the stronghold to shelter me and these beautiful ladies. We just thank you for your shelter today. Your shelter. The only God for me and my great confidence. He will rescue you from every hidden trap of the enemy, and he will protect you from false accusation and any deadly curse. Lord, I just thank you that you're rescuing us from any hidden trap, any false accusation, and any deadly curse. We just give you praise that you are the King of kings and the Lord of lords, and no weapon uh, set against me will prosper. No plague will come nigh my dwelling. God, you are our hope, you are our strength, you are our fortress, and we trust in you. His massive arms are wrapped around you, protecting you. You can run under the covering of majesty and hide. Lord, we just hide under your covering today. We hide under your majesty, the covering of your majesty. His arms of faithfulness are a shield keeping you from harm. God, we just thank you that you are keeping us from harm today. You're protecting every daughter, every mother that's signed on, every family that's represented, every child that's represented, every home that's represented, every church that's represented, every city that's represented, every county that's represented, and every state that's represented. You will never... Uh, you will never worry about an attack or demonic forces at night, nor have fear of, of a uh, fear, a spirit of darkness coming against you, nor have to fear a spirit of darkness coming against you. Don't fear a thing. Lord, we just thank you that we don't fear a thing. We don't fear a thing. We don't fear storms. We don't fear pestilence. We don't fear disease. We don't fear uh, abandonment. We don't fear uh, sickness. We don't fear uh, anything happening to our children. God, we trust you. You are the King of kings and the Lord of lords, and we are hidden under your majesty. We are hidden under the power of your wings and the shelter of Shaddai. We don't fear a thing. We, In fact, we have great faith. You are infusing great faith in your daughters. Your daughters are walking in great faith. I want you to go in and share the broadcast. I want you to say, pray with us, pray with me and Pastor Callie this morning, and we are receiving great faith today. We are receiving, listen ladies, this isn't the time to back down. This is the time 
that we, we stand, we pray, we fast, we seek God, we go forward, we, we, uh, we, we stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. We stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Okay, don't fear a thing, whether by night or by day. Demonic danger will not trouble you. That's what it says. Nor will the powers of evil be launched against you. Even in the time of disaster, without thousands and thousands, with thousands and thousands being killed, you will remain unscathed and unharmed. Lord, we just thank you that we're unscathed and unharmed. And it doesn't matter what's going on around us. It doesn't matter if it's a storm. It doesn't matter if it's a pandemic. It doesn't matter what is going on. We are unscathed and unharmed because we are under your shadow. Even in the time of disaster, with thousands and thousands being killed, you will remain unscathed and unharmed. You will be a spectator as the wicked perish in judgment, for they will be paid back for what they have done. When we live our lives within the shadow of God Most High, our secret hiding place, we will always be shielded from harm. How then could evil prevail against us or disease infect us? God send angels with special orders to protect you wherever you go, defending you from all harm. If you walk into a trap, They'll be there, he'll be there for you. They'll be there for you and keep you from stumbling. The angels are going to keep us from stumbling. The angels have been sent out to go before us and to literally help us step around the danger. Ladies, I want to encourage you, share this broadcast. Share this broadcast. Invite others to pray with us. I know I haven't been on here in a few days. It's been crazy. We have, um, we've had a winter storm here, unprecedented winter storm here. And uh, we've had, literally, it's been like an apocalypse. You know, no no heat, no lights, no water, uh, very little internet. Today I had one bar, and I'm praying that you're getting clear signal from me today. But we trust God, and I just want to encourage you to invite ladies to pray on. We must not waver in our commitment to prayer. We must continual, continually, and even if something happens and this broadcast is not on, get on your knees there in your home and cry out to Jesus and send up prayers and send up worship and fast and seek God and watch God move by his power, by his spirit, by his power, by his spirit. Okay. Even in, okay, let's go here. You will be a spectator as the wicked perish in judgment, for they will be paid back for what they have done. When we live our lives within the shadow of God Most High, our secret hiding place, we will always be shielded from harm. How then could evil prevail against us and disease affect us? God sends angels with special orders to protect you wherever you go. See? See? He, he sends angels with special orders. I just sense right now that there are angels that have been sent out to 273 homes with special orders to protect you wherever you go. 273 cities, 273 counties, 273 families are being protected wherever they go. The power of Jehovah goes before you. God has sent his special armies out to protect you, defending you from all harm. If you walk into a trap, they will be there for you, keep you from stumbling. Even, you'll even walk unharmed among the fiercest powers of darkness trampling every one of them beneath your feet. Where does the devil belong? The devil belongs beneath your feet. God, we just thank you that the enemy is beneath our feet. The enemy is beneath our feet. No weapon formed against us will prosper. We are blessed in the city. We are blessed in the country. We are blessed in a storm and we are blessed in sunshine. We are blessed in, in Texas. We are blessed in New York. We are blessed in California. We are blessed in Florida. We are blessed in Philly. And ladies, I want you to pray right now. I've got a conference I have to be at by Friday. I haven't been able to get out the last two days. I want you to bind with me right now and pray that me and Jessica can get out today and get to Philly in the name of Jesus. And then we can get on up to the retreat center where we, where I'm supposed to minister on Friday night. And I just call it forth in Jesus' name. No weapon formed against me will prosper. God will make my crooked places straight. There is a plane 
that will take me to the northeast and there is and we will get there safely and we will get home safely and we will preach the word of God and we will stand and see God's glory in everything that we do. For here is what the Lord has spoken to me because you loved me, delighted in me and have, have been loyal to my name. I will greatly protect you. That's our promise because you've loved me. You have delighted in me and have been loyal to my name. I will greatly protect you. I will answer your cry uh, for help every time you pray. Lord, I just thank you that you're answering our cry for help today. If this is every time we pray. Today, you're answering our cry. You're watching over uh, 288 families today. You're watching over 288 families. Mothers in Zion, daughters in Zion, cities, churches represented, states represented, <clears throat> counties represented, families represented. You're watching over us today, and you are protecting us. I will answer your cry for help every time you pray, and you will feel my presence in your time of trouble. I will deliver you and bring you honor. I will satisfy you with a full life and, and with all that I do for you. For you will enjoy the fullness of my salvation. God, we just thank you for the fullness of your salvation. We thank you, Lord, today that we receive the fullness of your salvation. And we just stand, um, we just stand in faith. We stand in faith knowing that you are a God that can, we can trust in, that we can hold on to that we can, we can uh, watch, and we, we can literally watch you move mountains. We can watch you move in times of trouble. We can watch you move in, uh, in, in such a powerful way. And we stand in faith this morning, knowing that you're a God that we can trust in. And God, I trust you today. I trust you on this Thursday morning. I trust you in the midst of storms. I trust you in the midst of of heartbreak. I trust you in the midst of disappointment. I trust you in the midst of victory. I trust you in the midst of joy. I tr we trust you whether we're on the mountaintop or we're on the valley low. We're going we're gonna to serve you no matter where we find ourselves today. We trust you. You are a God that can be trusted. And I just want you to raise your hands and receive the, the, just the encouragement of the Lord. We trust you today. We trust you today. We trust you today. We trust you today. No weapon formed against us will prosper. No plague will come nigh our dwelling. Everything we set our hand to do will, will prosper by the power of God. Everything we set our hand to do, God will make a way. God's hand is, is upon us. His favor is on us. His blessing, His blessing, the blessing of the Lord is on on 294 women today, 294 daughters of Zion, 294 mothers of Zion, 294 families. The blessing of the Lord is on 300 women today, 300 praying women, 300 women that will stand in the gap, 300 women that will not back down from, from any kind of attack of the enemy. They will show up, they will dress up, they will pray up, and they will stand in the midst of trouble. They will stand in the midst of trouble. Ladies, I want you to go on and share the broadcast. Pastor Bob's going to come right now and lead us in communion. Get your communion ready and share the broadcast. Share the broadcast. We are, listen, this is going to be over in a few days and life will be back to normal here in Texas. In fact, next week it's going to be like California weather here. And all is well. All is well. I hear the Lord saying, all is well. Pastor Bob? Okay, we're going to read out of Luke 22, chapter 22, where the, the disciples and Jesus are, are going to practice their Passover, and this is where he talks to them about how the Passover changes to what we do now, the communion, the Lord's Supper. He says, uh, so they prepare the Passover. When the hour came, Jesus and his apostles reclined at the table. Yes. And he said to them, I've eagerly desired to eat this Passover with you before I suffer. 
For I tell you, I will not eat it again until it finds fulfillment in the kingdom of God. Yes. And after taking this cup, he gave thanks and said, Take this and divide it among you. Yes. For I will... For I tell you, I will not drink again of the fruit of the vine until the kingdom of God comes. And he took bread and he gave thanks. So we got the bread. Yes. And he broke it and he gave it to them saying, this is my body yes. given for you. Yes. Do this in remembrance of me. Thank you, Lord, for your body. Thank, thank, thank you, Lord. We receive our healing, our thank you, Lord. deliverance our, from grief, pain, sorrow, sickness. Yes, Lord. In the same way, after the supper, he took the cup, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood, which is poured out for you. Yes, Lord. Thank you for your blood, Jesus. Thank you for the covenant of your blood. Yes, Lord. I just want to re uh, remind you that uh, what the scripture said, Psalms 91 and some other psalms, uh, that he gives his angels charge over you to keep you yes. in all your ways to yes, bear you up Lord. in their arms should you stumble and fall they're going to be there to help catch you yes Lord. and uh help lower lower the uh risk and the pain and it says the angels of the lord encamp around about those yes, who fear Lord. him so we just trust you lord that you're watching over yes, sending your Lord. angels around us constantly yes, i know Lord. i need double work all the time because i take too many risks but, but god sends me angels to help take care of me that's what one of these marks here from, hit, from hitting something with my head. Anyway, God is good. Yes, and we Lord. thank him for his sacrifice and his covenant and yes, his love. Lord. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, I just thank you, Lord, that you are healing this morning. I sense that uh, several people are being healed uh, <clears throat> of something to do with your liver. I hear God saying he's healing uh, some livers this morning. There's two of you, maybe three. That are suffering from liver problems. All right. That's good. Okay, That's hold good. on. Um, okay, honey. That's good. That are suffering from liver problems. And so, oh Lord, help me, Jesus. Okay. Sorry. I'm, <laughs> my husband's trying to fix me. Okay, and I just believe that God is going to heal you right now. Uh, if this is you and you have a liver problem, I, if you'll just get on here, I want to see you. I'd like to know who you are. God is healing livers this morning. I heard the Lord say there's two or three. So there's two or three of you that are suffering. Your liver's not working right. You're not, it's not filtering right. You're having problems with your liver. And God is healing you this morning. He is healing you this morning. Um, he is healing you this morning. I heard the Lord say, I'm healing livers this morning. So I, whoever you are, receive it. It yes. is yours. Yes. It is yours in the name of Jesus. It is yours in the name of Jesus. There's someone in particular that it ha has been having a terrible pain from the back of their neck, lower part of their neck, like right where it connects to your shoulder area or your back area all the way up the back of your head it has been excruciating and god is healing you right now he's healing you i, I felt the pain go up to the back of my neck and i and, and i i know that someone is in this kind of pain but the lord is healing you right now whoever you are if you will just uh type out let us know god is healing you it's his word it's his promise he comes to heal, save, and deliver. Yes. He comes to heal, save, and deliver. Yes. And just you are being healed by the power of Jesus today. By the power of Jesus today. By the power of Jesus today. Um, Susanna. I, somebody by the name of Susan or Susanna. Susanna, maybe that's your, your, your whole name, but you go by Susan. Um, Susan, I hear the, the word of the Lord to you is that you will not walk this path again. It is almost over and you will never enter it again because your greatest fear is that this will happen over and over again. And the Lord says, no, this is coming to an end. He is saving you. The salvation of the Lord is your portion and you will never walk this path again so don't let the enemy torment you with fear no fear no torment with fear you will never walk this path again and you are being saved the salvation of the lord is upon you and this 
this trial is over. Susanna or Susan, I don't know. <clears throat> maybe Susan is a nickname, but I heard Susanna or Susan, and maybe that's one's your biological name, one's the name you go by. I just thank you, Lord, for what you're doing um, in your people. The Lord is healing this morning. So whatever your need is, I just believe I have faith and I know you have faith, and his healing power is here. And so if you will just uh, call it out by the power of the Holy Ghost, we just declare that you're healed today. You're receiving miracles today. There's going to be a multiplicity of miracles. Whether I call it out or not, God is the healer, and his power heals, and you are being healed today. You are being healed from sickness today, in particular. Sickness is being taken from you. God, we curse all COVID-19. We, we command it to be eradicated from the bodies of your people and the loved ones of your people. And we just thank you that it is being eradicated from this country. We thank you, Lord, for massive healing across America in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. God is healing bodies today. He is healing your body today. Just hold your hand up and receive it. And then as you feel the power of God touch your body, some will feel warmth in your head. Some will feel actual warmth in the area that has been ailing you. Some will feel electricity through your body. I want you to type out what you are feeling by the power of the Holy Ghost. It is supernatural and you're being healed by God's power this morning. God is healing you. This is the day of healing. This is the day of salvation. This is the day of deliverance. Today is the day. I also uh, want you to raise your hands if you need provision. 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 If, you're, if you need a job, if your business needs a, a contract, a breakthrough, you need provision. God is a miracle working God and he has he owns the cattle of a thousand hills. He is not broke. <laughs> he is not broke and he is not cheap. He is wealthy and he is generous. Lord, we just receive your wealth today. I stand in faith for your handmaidens and we receive your wealth today. We receive your provision today. Because we're your daughters, we have access to all the provision we need. There's nothing that we need that we can't have. And so today I stand in faith for my sisters, for the daughters in Zion, for the mothers in Zion, for my sisters in the Lord. And we just receive your unbelievable abundant provision today in every area of our lives, including our finances and what we need for ministry, what we need for our families, what we need across America, God, for the businesses that are represented, for the, for the jobs that are represented, for the careers that are represented, for the needs that are represented. We just receive your abundance by faith. By faith, we receive it. Ladies, I see, I literally see gold raining on your head. I see money literally pouring into your home by faith. I see provision. I see deals being closed. I see contracts being signed. I see job offers being made. I see an uh, increase in, um, in your income instead of a decrease. The enemy's told you you're going to decrease, but no, you're going to actually increase in your income, you're gonna, God's gonna give you witty ideas and inventions and, and just witty, uh, witty scenarios and ideas for making money. He is going to teach you. He is, many of you are entrepreneurial and many of you, he is going to give you an entrepreneurial uh, spirit, uh, the spirit to know how to make money. It does not matter what the economy is doing. It does not matter what country you live in. Listen, we, we serve the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. He is our father and we live by another kingdom. Yes. We live by another economic system. And, and many of you, I hope all of you are tithers. 
I, I hope all of you are tithing to your local church. And if you haven't been, repent and start tithing. It is God's principle. It is God's principle. I didn't set that up. God set that up. The tithe is not yours. The tithe is the Lord's. And we actually start giving when we sow seed above the tithe. So, Lord, I just thank you that your, your handmaidens have faith to obey your promise and to obey your word and receive your promise. And if you've been unfaithful in this area, just repent and start today. <clears throat> just repent and start today. And so, Lord, we just thank you that because we are tithers and because we are givers and we are generous, Lord, everything I have is yours. There's nothing that I have that you couldn't ask me for that I would not happily give to you. Everything I have is yours. And God, I am reminded again today that you you own everything, and everything these handmaidens have is yours. And so, Lord, we submit our lives to you today. We submit our children to you today. We submit our money to you today. We submit our homes, our land, anything that we own, anything that we happen to own. We know we're just stewards, that you're really the owner of everything. And, God, we just submit everything to you today and we trust that you are moving in power and ladies many of you are going to receive incredible blessings this week this week there is going to be breakthrough it before the day is over before the day is over, you are going to step into some powerful breakthrough in the way of your finances. And so Lord, I just thank you ahead of time. I thank you ahead of time. I thank you ahead of time. I want to encourage any of you, if you have struggled in the area of tithing, being faithful with your tithe to your local church, go uh, look. Go look up the Blessed Life series by Robert Morris. And there is, I'm sure there's YouTubes out there you can watch. One of the most powerful and insightful uh, teachings on giving and tithing I have ever heard, and it will change your life. And it will change your way of viewing everything that God gives you. Everything that God gives me is His. It's really His. Now, he only requires a tenth, but everything is his. And if he asked me for it, I would give it to him. And so, Lord, I just thank you. I remember, I remember the times in my life where you have moved powerfully when I gave sacrificially. I am brought to remembrance today. I remember being a young mother, and I was single. And I walked into that service, and I had $10,000. And you spoke to me to give 9000 to that missionary. And I remembered how you moved in power for me. I remember. I can remember times when I was raising my children. And I made a good living, but it cost a lot of money to raise kids. But I can remember times you speaking to me and me wiping out my account. And you supernaturally provided. And you gave me so much abundance. I can remember Pastor Todd. We needed a building so bad. We needed a place to worship. And we had some money saved. And I remember Pastor Todd, God speaking to Pastor Todd. And we took everything we had saved for our building. And we gave it away to someone else's building. And God supernaturally moved and gave us a building. <laughs> God, I trust you, and these women trust you. And ladies, I see massive provision for you, like massive. And I want you to just raise your hands and receive it by the power of the Holy Ghost. Massive provision. I want to encourage you to get here next week. It is going to be unbelievable. It's our first rally. Get here. It's going to be 70-degree weather. This uh, literal blizzard's going to be done. This epic storm will be over. And we want you to get here. God is going to move. It 25th and the 26th. I did not know when I set the dates for this that I was setting the dates on the, uh, the Feast of Purim. 
I did not know it was the feast of Purim. And I'm telling you, that's when Esther was freed and Israel was freed from the demonic forces that were trying to completely wipe out the nation. Esther was freed and Mordecai I was freed. And God hung, he allowed Haman to be hung on the gallows that he had built for God's people. And I'm telling you right now something extremely special. And that is why the enemy has fought us like crazy this week. I don't care. We will stand and we will see the salvation of the Lord. Get here, ladies. Planes, trains, automobiles, get here. It is going to be powerful. We love you. At the top of this broadcast will be everything you need. We love you so much. God bless you. Have a wonderful day in the name of Jesus.